been great, I think, for all of us, um, and especially these last couple of gigs. I think they've been uh, they've been really, really good, really, really strong. Uh, we've done a lot of work for them, but they're really coming together, I think, a lot stronger, and I think um, with more of a direction than we were last time. So. Yeah, and, and talking about uh, the gig on Sunday, of course, you were with Old Grey Mule at Way Out West on Sunday. It just went off. It was just a fantastic gig. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, those guys, those guys are great. Um, they've got they've got so much so much rhythm and so much roots. Um, uh, you know, top top guys, top musicians, and it was just great. It was great honor to be uh, to supporting them at Way Out West. Are we recording? Are we writing? What's going on with the band? Oh yeah, that's that's the plan. We've uh, just spent the last uh, last maybe month, all of October. Jules come back about October, and we s decided first November we'd get it all back in and sort of just been rehearsing some stuff, getting a set list up, some new material, warming up the uh, the new guy, old Mad Dog Miller, as you said. We're uh, getting him all hip to the thing. And yeah, so you, 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 you've, you've got an addition who uh, who couldn't make it tonight. Tell us about uh, how how this come about. Uh, well, he he was actually a guy I used to work um, out in a music shop in Greensboro repairing guitars, actually, uh, and he was a teacher upstairs, um, and I just sort of knew him from there, and it turns out me and him started studying, uh, we studied music at uni together as of this year, and I just gave him a call one day, I'm like, man, Dad, you think about joining a blues band, and he come on down and hit it off right away, and we played a few gigs with him before Jules got back, and then give him a call, we're like, dude, we found our guy. Now you've got the guitars here, the bands here, Benny's got a little bit of a kit set up, we've got the harps, we've got the bass, we're going to do something, what do you want to do? I think so, I reckon we do the uh, Little Walter 1956 classic called My Baby's Second Number One, Barry. As you might know, he actually, as a matter of fact, had uh, more number ones than his mentor Muddy Waters did, so uh, got a little Walter on the heart, this is a tune called My Baby. Alright, two, one, two. <laughs> the new school. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, let's do it. 1954 Muddy Waters classic, penned by Willie Dixon himself. This is Hoochie Kitchen Man. One, two, three. <laughs> Gypsy. 
this woman told my mother on the day I was born. Said, I got a boy child coming. Gonna be a son of a gun. We're gonna make pretty women jump and shout. I'm gonna mess with you. Watch out. I'm gonna take you, pretty women. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead you by the hand. Um. done. We have assembled a super group.
We have the studio. There's no room in the studio. There's no room left. We have, we, we have a super group assembled. We have on drums, Benny Gerard. We have on the guitar, C.R. Humphrey. We have on harp, Aaron Gillette. On the bass, Jordan Hyde. Backing vocals with Cooper. Oh yeah! And a special guest in the studio, Rattlin' Bones Blackwood, has just decided to drop in because that's what you do at Blues on the Hill. You can just drop in and uh, and say hello. And of course, Julian on vocals. Ah uh, yeah! Yeah, we're just gonna yeah. Do, hand it over to them. Uh.